What's up YouTube, Rob Lowe here with Team Cloud and today I wanna to do a video, kinda of something new, something I have never seen this done before but I'm gonna do some do's and don'ts of DN. Uh, it could be out, I don't know, I'm just kinda of giving you guys my own opinion. Um, so what I'm gonna explain is how you should be playing on DN and what and what not to do, self-explanatory, do's and don'ts. Uh, so let's get into it. We'll start off with the do's, that's, uh, I guess it's easier. Um, okay, so I got a list over here so I'm gonna read off my list. Okay, so, um, some of the most important do's is know your basic rulings. I'm not saying know every ruling of the game. You don't have to be a lawyer in this game, but know your basic rulings. Know when cards, you know, are in a chain. Know what some, you know, rulings are. The basics, you know, you can't play, um, I don't know, like a maxi after you tackle Linde or something. You know, like, and it goes to the graveyard. You, you know, just know your basic rulings. If you don't, that's okay. Um, you know, I'm sorry, then if you don't know the complex rulings, that's okay. Look it up. You know, you learn from DN. You learn from experience. That's how I learn a lot of rulings. Uh, look it up after it happens. But just know your basic rulings. Um, know current decks. That's another thing. Do know your current decks. You know, i.e., Water, Gyrgya, Evil Sworn, Heretic Rulers. Just know the basics of the basics of the decks that are being played. It's going to help you be a better player in the long run, and it's going to be very less annoying when I'm playing you and you have to read every single one of my cards. Just know the decks. Uh, so let's see. Okay, say something when something's being played. Don't just wait, uh, you know, eight seconds and I'm, I, I summon nothing. And I say, okay, nothing. And then I do something else, and then you play like a torrential. I'm like, oh, wait, go back. I want to maxi. You know, do something. If you have to read the card, say something. Be like, sec, reading. Then I'll wait, and if you have a play, you have a play. But don't wait until that's cheating. You know you're gonna wait till I, you want to see another card before you to react on something. Don't do that. It's bad. Um, you you. All right, we'll 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 continue. Um, let's see. If you're trying to get competitive, play tier decks on DN. Um, DN isn't the most perfect place to test, but it gives you the idea. You're the flow before you go out and purchase all these cards. You know the Draco sex, uh, uh, Excite on Nights. Play the decks on DN and see how they flow. See, you know, you're not necessarily testing to see, you know, how the deck goes, like, deep into games. But, like, the first five turns are very important. Just, just kind of see how your deck flows, how it shuffles, how it, you know, draws out. So, uh, test something competitive. Uh, let's see. Play matches instead of singles. Matches are only going to make you better. You're not going to play singles in a, in a you know, a regional event unless you're playing, like, a side event for fun. You're going to be playing matches all the time. Practice your matches. Practice your siding. Practice, is, you know, your the matches are everything. If you play singles, oh, congratulations. You can just ride Dark Worlds all the way up and be uh, extremely good in singles. But what practice that do you in real life? So play matches anytime you can. Um, maybe singles just to test out how the first hands of some decks, or you just create a deck, you know, from scratch or whatever. That's the only reason I could see it, but it still doesn't benefit you. Matches are where it's at. Uh, okay, so I recommend playing uh, TCG and OCG to learn. Um, so that way, when the new cards come out, you're not you know like unaware of what these cards do. Mix it up, play both. Uh, it's and if you're trying to get more competitive with the current uh, decks, and right now play TCG, you know in your area, whatever you are, uh, play your own. If you're OCG, play your OCG. Play TCG, play your own. Um, but sometimes it's good just to mix it up, you know, for fun. Just go in and, and see what OCG is about. See how, you know, the combos are. Because eventually it's going to come into the TCG. And some cards, you know, haven't been released yet. And it gives you a, an idea to practice. And, uh, no, you know, get to learn some of the cards. Um, okay, here's another one. Do pull up some rulings instead of waiting 40 minutes for a judge. Don't be lazy. It's, 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 it's so long for judges. And when I play, it's like late at night so i'm not gonna sit here and wait hours for a judge i'm just gonna pull up a ruling see if i can find it if not you know if you can't find a ruling and the guy's cool you know it's and you don't want to wait just take a loss you know just you know okay i'll let you have this ruling but take note and bring it up later you know to your locals to your regional go to a head judge and be like hey if this happens you know what happens uh always take note always take note on rulings if you can't find it online just take note for later and ask popular youtuber don't ask me because i'm not the best on rulings I'll, I'll admit that but look you know look in as bexy or no don't annoy him he, he, i don't think he likes that uh, i don't know <laughs> just anyone tiny mac is really good on rulings uh, look for him okay so that's some of the do's 
Let's get into some of the don'ts, and this is kind of a longer list, I'm sorry. Okay, so don't blind MST. That's terrible. I hate when people blind MST. Like, I just like, really? And then they'll go off their play and I'll have an emptiness or a Phoenix Chain, and I'm like, bitch, you could have used that instead of getting rid of my MST or something, you know? Don't blind MST. Uh, don't say MST negates regular trap cards. So if you summon and I activate Torrential and then you MST and think my Torrential doesn't happen, don't do that. MST will never negate anything that's a normal trap card to a certain extent. Um, so just don't do that. Uh, let's see. Don't take hours to side. It Siding sh shouldn't be that hard. Like I hate it when people are on there and they take, you know, like a good 10 minutes to side. Um, it, it's it's super annoying. Just don't, don't take forever to sign. Don't play Chain Burn. Please don't play Chain Burn. What does that, what does that deck do? Like, you think you're good because you could win with Chain Burn? That, that, that is nothing. I hate Chain Burn play or Stall decks or Exodia. Don't play those decks. Just play normal decks. I wish they would just get rid of those decks. It's irritating. Whenever I see the Chain Burn, I'm like, oh my god. Um, along with that, don't say good luck and have fun if you're playing Chain Burn, Fusion, or Dark Worlds, or any kind of Stall deck. That's fucking stupid. Good luck and have fun. Or just say have fun. Yeah, I'm going to have fun against your solitary deck. Cool. Congratulations. Whatever. Um, let's see. Something I see a lot, too, uh, with the with the um, tier decks is, you know, because upstarts on almost every deck now. I see people upstart. They open, like, two or, you know, two. They'll upstart, like, at the, at, at, like, simultaneously, like, upstart, upstart. And, I mean, on one, one, one half, it's, like, cool. Like, cool, you get you, instead of me clicking the plus and doing a thousand and clicking go minus like i just know it's going to be two thousand but on your part don't do it because what if you upstart in a duality you duality first get something you know thin the deck out then you upstart never upstart just twice in a row for the hell of it uh for heretic rulers i know it's very popular uh upstart you might get a uh, dragons something dragon shrine and then you could dump your targets instead of drawing that vanilla with that second upstart then you upstart and with my luck, I always draw the vanilla anyway, because I run more than uh, two. So don't upstart twice in a row. That's just a common. That's a common tip. You don't do that. Um, let's see. Don't be a prick. Don't be a prick when you're playing people. Even if you're the most best person in the in the in the world. Like case uh, point in case. I played Patrick Hoban back in the day. I want to say maybe like a year ago when Patrick Hoban really wasn't anything. Um, he was very, he's, he's a prick to me. He asked me if I had Down syndrome because I didn't know it was complicated ruling. And I was like, well, I want to look it up first. And he got upset. And he was like, you have Down syndrome or something? You know who I am? I'm Patrick Hope. And I was like, congratulations. I'd pick me over you any day. Um, so don't be a prick. There's no point. Unless your opponent's a prick and then, or they're just doing dumb shit. Whatever. If you're cordial, if, you, if you're playing with someone cordial, just be, just be nice back. That's all, that's all that matters. Um, don't call a judge if you're about to lose and stall. Shit is so irritating. I'll admit, I've done it once because the guy was a super, he was a super asshole. Like, for no reason, just, it, it luck sack of my life. I think he was playing Bougins or something, or some dumbass deck where he was like, oh, get fucked, bro, or, you know, you fucking suck, scrub. And I was like, it was like three in the morning, I'm like, alright, call a judge. There's no one available, and I just, I just went to bed. I was pissed. So, but don't do that if it's like a good match and you know, like you're about to lose and you're like, and the person's like legitimately beating you and not being an asshole. Don't do it. It's so irritating. Uh, let's see. Don't wait second seven seconds and then activate a card. It kind of goes back to um, say something when you play it. Don't don't wait all this time and you know don't say anything. You know you're just kind of thinking about it and then be like, okay, no, Maxi, because I know you're gonna go into this play. It's so annoying, and it's cheating. You can get called for that, too. If the judge sees, like, you waited that long and then played it without saying anything, they'll rule in the other person's favor every time. Because it's happened to me. Like, people do that shit to me all the time. Like, they'll wait until I do another play, then they'll play their play. And it's like, really? Um, don't base a deck off of uh, testing on DN. Don't do it. Don't, don't come, you know, and put all your money in, like, oh, my God, this deck is testing so good on DN. I need to make it. I need to cash out for it. Don't do that. DN... It's decent practice, but it's not. It, it's nothing like the real thing. Um, some people play really good on DN. Some people have really good luck on DN, and some people just play shitty in person or shitty uh, on DN. It goes vice versa. It's like you, you can't base everything on DN because 
one, you're not playing. It, it's a mental game, and it's 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 all in the head. It's it's in per You can't mind fuck someone via computer screen. You know what I mean? Uh, well as well. So don't base everything on DN testing. I still think DN is a good place to test if you're up in the ranks and you're just you know you're bored and you're like I want to see how this deck flows. That's fine. But don't don't think oh this deck is so broken because it smashes on DN. It may smash on the end, and you know it might be broken, but just like, just telling you, like, don't get all overexcited over it. So, all right, guys, I'm sorry I've been rambling, but this has kind of like been on my mind, and I'm like, man, I need to make a new video anyway. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. So, think if this helped you out, if it uh, kind of gave you a different pr perspective, hit that like button, comment if there's something else that I, I should add, or if you guys want to add at the at the bottom, some do's, some don'ts. Um, Hopefully I touch base on a lot of the main ones, and uh, if I miss some, I miss some. I'm not perfect. This is all these are all videos mostly on the fly. I just come up with a list and whatever. So all right, guys, have a good day. Hopefully um, I'll see you guys in Vegas. This is coming up this weekend. I'm very excited. But I'll I'll do another video about that because I'm excited. I really am. I'm sad my boy Slim though, uh, the teammate can't come out. And... Damn, bro. Oh well. All right, guys, uh, have a good one.